Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. We find ourselves in the shower. Oh look at that, there's another whole, uh, whole other shower nozzle over here. There's one over here, there's one over here. Depends on your preference. Honestly, I don't see why you would ever choose this one. This kind of shower head, these are pretty awesome. I've only ever uh, had a shower under one of these in a uh, in a hotel. But let me tell you, it was it was real good. You know, shower heads that I've had, uh, you know, at home haven't been uh, haven't been super great. Um, you know, but uh, you know, in hotels sometimes you get yourselves in uh, you know real nice showers. You get to experience other kind of showers, and there you go. I, I I'm a fan of these kind over here. Uh, so the real question is, where in the world are we? And you know, take a look at the kind of place we're in, and you can see there's like the little huts and stuff like that, and the water. I think this is, I mean, this could be on the shore, but like, I don't know if this down here is water. So I'm guessing we're in the Maldives. Um, you know, we we're, I often guess there. Uh, sure, let's guess Maldives, let's go like, uh, somewhere like, uh, like in this, in this ring around here. Let's go like, uh, sure, like right there. Why not? Near, near, near Villagilly. Sure. But, now that I've made the guess, I'm going to look down and see if this actually reveals anything. Uh, can I get this right side up, please? Oh, no, it doesn't want me. Uh, destination, uh, Destinology. Experts in luxury travel. Well, that sounds like the Maldives to me. Destinology. Let's see if we're in the right destination. Oh, okay. <laughs> alright, alright. We were a little bit further north, but I had the right kind of idea. Um, there you go. We were in this sort of, uh, ring over here near a place called, uh, Gili Lankafushi Maldives. We were in the Maldives. There you go. Wow. Well, that was really, really nice. Hopefully some of you guys guess close. Alrighty. Welcome back. Well, welcome back. Welcome back from that crossfade. And check this place out. My god, was yesterday shower day? Because if yesterday was shower day, then have I got news for you. Oh man, just check this place out. Wow, this is superbly awesome. I mean, I don't know, just check this place out. Really, really, really awesome. Cool, uh, looking vacation spot, my goodness, I don't know, something about this beautiful purple sky, all the colors in this, uh, they just, they just so vibrant, these probably aren't real fish, just a picture of fish, but still, people are having lunch, eating it too, oh my goodness, people are having a great old time, I'd love to go here, my god, it's like two, uh, really cool vacation spots in a row, if yesterday was indeed shower day, um, just super cool. These places over here, I wonder if these are like um, where you stay. And if they are where you stay, that's sort of my only complaint about uh, this place is just the proximity to which uh, you are from from your neighbors. You know, in um, you know, I know that in a hotel, you know, you're you're actually like literally right beside you share a wall with, with your neighbors. Here you got your own little beach cabana, but I don't know something about the fact that they're uh, just right beside each other. All these windows that face each other, I don't know. Something about uh, that lack of lack of privacy makes me think um, maybe this isn't the perfect uh, vacation idea. But honestly, this looks so cool. I mean, it's the same problem that I have with uh, uh, like uh, the the location that we were in uh, yesterday was uh, that uh, you know people could see and people could see you where you are and you know I don't know. It just seems like uh, if I were if this were to be the, the ideal vacation in my mind. Uh, these would be like a way more separated from each other and you would really um, you, you could be standing here and have the feeling to be alone in this open beauty of ocean see that's what I really like I really like the idea of just standing and looking in all directions and seeing you know I'm here I'm in this beautiful location and to me uh, you know, standing out here and looking out the window and seeing, oh, there's tons more people uh, walking by would maybe ruin that experience. But that doesn't mean that this place isn't cool. No, this is actually really, really, really awesome. My god, what a cool spot. And it's today's daily challenge, which means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world do you think we are. Put it down in the comment section below and tell me in a tomorrow's video, much like in the section you just saw, I'm going to make a guess as to where I think it is. Uh, who knows where this place could be? It could be a lot of places in the world, but regardless of the outcome of my guess, I'll announce whoever out of you guys guessed closest as the winner in tomorrow's video's comment section. Now, if you don't win a prize, 
but uh, you do win glory. So if you're interested in winning glory, then uh, put down your guess. Tell me, where in the world are we right now? Oh, boy. Well, today, this is the main section, and we've got something special. Well, not, well, yeah, something special. It's a viewer challenge. And the fourth time in a row, I believe, yeah, fourth or third, it doesn't really matter. Maybe fourth time, maybe third time in a row, that it is a viewer challenge by someone new to sending in challenges. And that is absolutely awesome. This one is by Brendan Milton. That's right, Brendan Milton. Thank you so much for this challenge, of course. Uh, you know, you sent this maybe yesterday, maybe the day before. And, uh, you know, when someone new sends a challenge, I always uh, do those in priority sequence. So yours is going to get done. I can't wait to do it. It's absolutely exciting. Uh, there's no particular theme other than these locations might be pretty hard. So I'm going to try my best to... Uh, do uh, as well as I possibly can. You know, maybe I'll do really well. Maybe uh, I won't. Thank you so much, Brendan Milton, for this challenge. Now, if you are wondering how to create your own challenge, you can look down in the description below, just below the link uh, that you actually find here uh, for the link to this particular challenge, because you can choose to play along with me if you want. You'll find a link to a website called Geosetter, G-E-O-S-E-T-T-R.com. Create your own custom challenge, and then you can send that to me. Send this big old link right here, just the way it looks. Uh, no link shorteners, please, uh, to, my, uh, to the YouTube inbox system. Uh, so you just send it to me using the YouTube inbox system, and then uh, I'll play it. You can add a theme to the challenge if you want. You can add special rules to a certain extent uh, if you'd like to. Uh, just make the challenge fun and exciting. Place me five places in the world anywhere you want. So I'm totally excited to do this. Alrighty, let's do the challenge. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> well, difficult uh, indeed is uh, what this seems. Now, at first I was thinking that this was going to be a particular... Okay, well, let's zoom in because it's never fun to uh, to be zoomed out in, in these ones because, you know, you don't want to see the black bars. Okay, so we're nice and zoomed in. This is not easy. You know, first, when I saw this, for whatever reason, I was thinking we were um, uh, not there. Where Where is it? What, what, oh, boy, I can't really place it. Uh, I was thinking we were... Eh, for whatever reason, I, I can't really place where I'm thinking. Is it here? No, it's up, is it up? It's somewhere around here, maybe it's like a, you know what, I, I totally don't even remember where, uh, what I'm looking for is, but uh, I'm looking for something, and uh, I have no idea where it is, but I was thinking we were somewhere like the capital of Maldives, which I can't place in the map for whatever reason right now, but we're not there, this is much bigger than that, so, uh, we're not there, we're somewhere completely different, and somewhere pretty tricky to guess. We can't move. We can see there's like a lookout over here. Uh, big cliff. Uh, we got this. What is it? What do we know about this place? We got like track and field. Uh, badminton courts. A lot. Okay, we got like a crazy amount of tennis courts. That may be an important thing because we're in. Either, yeah, they're probably tennis. I don't know why badminton is the first thing that came to mind. So if these are tennis courts, we must be in like a. A really tennis loving because I mean there's one two three four and maybe these are more these badminton or tennis some kind of court like that we must be in a place that really loves to play badminton or, or tennis tennis obviously the UK America places like that but I don't think we're in either of those places uh, where else could this be like a small island I mean I don't think we're in the UK that's for sure I mean look at this place no America, I mean, if this is in Hawaii, maybe, but for whatever reason, I don't think this is in Hawaii. Uh, the picture is rather blurry, and, um, you know, this, to me, it looks kind of dry. It looks kind of like, uh, like South Africa? That's what it looks like to me, South Africa, maybe? Something like that. A big. We got a big port here. We got some big old buildings. Um. Yeah, South Africa is what is what's coming to mind for whatever reason. Let's go check out South Africa. See if we can maybe spot something. So we got mountains over here. Cape Town. Do, do I really? I don't really think this is Cape Town though, uh, because I don't really think this is how Cape Town looks. There's a big island over here, which is definitely not this island right here. Uh, it's too big, and it doesn't, you know, this doesn't really work out for it to be Cape Town. Um, so we're not in Cape Town, but maybe we're somewhere else. Maybe we're like, uh, 
You know, could we be around here? Uh, you know, not really. We can't really be there. Like, we could. No, we can't really be there either. Hmm. Could we be. Is there, like, a big town? What does, like, uh, what does, like, a George look like? No, not George. What does, like, a Port Elizabeth look like? No. So, South Africa is kind of. Uh, it's kind of dying down my idea that we're there. Starting to think uh, that we are indeed not South Africa. Okay, all right, all right. So we're not in South Africa. That's fine. Although I kind of feel like we are. What if we're in another African city? For whatever reason, that's just what's coming to mind. I mean, I don't know. I, the whole badminton idea. Their tennis. I kind of threw out the window. I don't know. Is Africa known as uh, a place that's uh, a fan of um, uh, a fan of uh, tennis? Maybe not. Maybe we're in like Nigeria. I don't think we're in Lagos. Lagos is one of the biggest cities. Uh, it's the biggest city in uh, Africa, that's for sure, but I don't think we're there, so we're not going to go with Lagos. Uh, could I go with something like, um, don't really know where to go with, okay, what's another country that I can, that I know the, the capital of? Um, let's go Angola. Sure, Angola. This looks alright to me. That means that we would be like, uh, I mean, this is probably really wrong, but, you know, I'm going to say we're like, uh, you know, we're like right, right around, right around right here. Okay, there you go. That's going to be my guess. I know that that's probably very wrong, but you know what? Fine. And the answer was Australia. Australia. Townsville. Townsville. Okay. Australia. Well, you know what? For whatever reason, I just I just wasn't getting it. wasn't wasn't getting the Australia. You know what? Australia and South Africa are places you can easily confuse. Uh, usually, it's back roads and stuff like that. Um, but uh, again, I was thinking South Africa was Australia. It's a rookie mistake to the South Africa Australia mix up. But I went with something like Angola, anyways. So really, there you go. One nineteen. Boy, you weren't lying when you said this was tricky. You weren't lying at all. All right, so what do we got here? We get some hikers, and we've got something. So immediately when I see this, I think, okay, this time we're going to be in Africa. Uh, but let's go look and see if we can see something more. Now, this could be that like one of the really tricky ones where it turns out we're in the middle of Russia, uh, which really, if we are, then I'm calling bullshit on that. Um, wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful just a chair there. Can we look at the people? Uh, can we say hi to these people that are uh, that are here in these pictures? I guess not. Um, okay, so we got a sign that says like "Do not climb." All right, so we got we got that. We got the sign that says "Sacred Area." Do not climb. Okay, so this is a sacred area. Feels like that makes sense. Actually, you know what? I feel like I know where this is, and I feel like this is uh, that place. So we go up here, and then we go right up here, and then we go to like here. We like zoom right in, and I feel like I know where this place is. It's like, no, not curtains. It's like right off of this road. It's like right here. It's this thing, isn't it? It's this thing. This thing right here? Is it possible that this is this right here? Or is it bigger, what I'm talking about? Because that is definitely a possibility that we're there. I like to think that that is indeed where we are. Uh, let's go find out some more evidence for it. That this that this is the thing we just witnessed, right there. And I'm gonna say that we were like uh, right here, because I think that that's that's where we were. And we find a road, okay? Because yeah, I I'm thinking I'm thinking so. All right, what have we got here? Climb closed. We do not climb. Don't climb Uluru. What is this thing called? Uluru. Yes, it is indeed that, which is very difficult. But, I mean, it takes a long time to get to being able to figure out this location uh, before. My God, what a blast from the past. This place looked very different uh, than it did before. So we got a bunch of languages. Uh, do not climb, do not climb, do not climb. Uh, so we got all of this. Um, but how, how to actually figure out where we are? We, I mean, I don't know, I guess you just figure out that uh, that you're in Australia. You know, it's <laughs> maybe not impossible to actually get that. I 
think I, I think we've been here before and I think I, oh yeah there you go see this right here this is how you figure it out you see this picture right here you get to here you look and you see oh my god stickies on the side of the road we're in Australia and then it's just uh, you know you figure out where you are Uluru that's where we were we're gonna say we're like right there make the guess and the answer was indeed that is it so very cool that one I got uh, we've been there before I don't know if I've seen exactly those same pictures of it but uh, my memory was jogged in the right way and I was able to figure that one out 6337 awesome love going back to places because it's always fun to see places uh, yet again uh, you know it's been such a long time so many episodes it's like I don't even know the places that we've been before it's impossible to make a challenge without uh, running like a very very high risk of uh, placing me in a location I've been before so if you're thinking of making a challenge I uh, don't even don't don't sweat it you can place me in places that we've been before it's totally cool uh, there's like uh, there's too damn many of them at this point sometimes I'll get them sometimes I won't sometimes I'll be very frustrated because I'll remember where it is I'll remember of it but I won't remember where it is so there you go so we are I mean we had an Australian theme so I'm guessing we're in the Great Barrier Reef right now uh, maybe our friend here is Australian um, you know not to be confused with someone from Angola because those are, I mean, those are really far apart, Australia and Angola. So uh, there you go. All right, let's uh, keep uh, keep looking out around. I'm gonna say this Great Barrier Reef, following uh, the uh, following the the theme, the trend of the challenge. So Great Barrier Reef, of course, is located right over here. We're on it. We're gonna say we're not really Townsville. Let's go like uh, around uh, right here. There's no real way we're going to know exactly where we are, but that's what I'm going to say. Yes, but we were actually up here, kind of near Papua New Guinea. 2172. Uh, again, the immediate feel is that we're in Australia. That's the that's the immediate feeling right off the bat is that we're actually still in Australia. Um, and I'm going to say so. I mean, with a name like Rob Rowcliffe, I'm going to say, sure. And then immediately running through, okay, Australia. Um, where are the places in Australia we haven't really been uh, that we could be? Well, we could be in Western, kind of near Perth, which is, of course, a possibility. Uh, we could be, uh, like, in Tasmania. It's a possibility as well. We could be up in Northern, kind of like uh, near Darwin or something like that, but I don't think this is it. From the time we've been there, it doesn't really look like this as far as I know. We could be... Um, we could, oh boy, this is a bit hard. We could be like Melbourne, Southern, or Southern, or something like that. I mean, I guess Uluru is technically in Northern. Um, I'm going to go with this is in Western Australia. Seems like seems like a nice Western Australia town, although I have no idea what, what that would actually look like. I've never been, but I'm going to say so. I'm going to say we're on the underneath coast. We're on the under coast. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of like... Uh, a lot of like uh, things around here, so we're sure Albany. Sure, Albany sounds about right to me. Let's go and say like uh, something like uh, around. Uh, sure, like right right around here, Emu Point. That sounds great to me. Uh, maybe I'll go something else like uh, like like right around. Uh, uh, like where will no we're not Winston Inlet. Let's just ah uh, sure. Let's just say we're right near Albany. I guess place place ourselves like right here even though I don't think we're actually that near a city you know there's like a city over here or something right so I'm gonna say so I'm gonna say we're right there let's so make the guess and the answer was no up again Townsville okay now that picture that looked a little bit more like Australia the other picture of Townsville looked very different let me tell you um, that uh, picture maybe it was just the the dark the the, um, the 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 look of it didn't didn't look like what I would imagine this area to look like uh, at all. 1743. So again, wrong part of Australia. Where are we now? Okay. Well, look at that. We've got somebody um, that's just you know having having a blast, going right right down on these very volcanic these rocks over here. My goodness. Now, where do we find volcanic rocks like this? Well, wow, look at this, like a little pool over here or something. The answer is I don't really know. I don't know if, like, this doesn't feel like this is in Australia. I'm going to say I don't think we're in Australia anymore. This person's just going on for some tanning. 
stuff like that. Oh, look at that ear. He has, like, a little paw. Oh, that's really cool, like that. That That is really, really awesome. Those pools up there, wow. I'm going to say that this isn't... <laughs> Just, just making poses, aren't you? Jeez Louise. There you go. Um, where do I think this one is found? Oh, that's a tough one to find. I don't think we're in Australia. Maybe we are. That wouldn't surprise me if we are. Um, somewhere real volcano-y. Where is there somewhere real volcano-y? Are any of these things volcano-y? Is any of uh, Tasmania volcano-y? Maybe, maybe not. You were like around here in this area, up here, like Fiji, Vanuatu. You were in uh, New Zealand. Maybe we're in Australia somewhere. Where where would this mystical place be? I feel like New Zealand's a little bit more likely. I don't know about the, how many volcanoes there are in Australia. Maybe there are some, because this is definitely volcanic rock, I believe. And this right there looks like a volcano to me. Uh, you know, it's even smoking around it, so you, know, you definitely got to think so. So where is this? Okay, let's say it's still Australia. Let's say that it is still Australia. What don't I know about Australia? Where could this be? Tasmania has got to be the answer. Finders Island, Cape Barren Island. Yeah, okay, so we got all of that stuff. So we're not on those ones. What's over here? Robinson, Hunter's Island, Natural Reserve, Meredith Range... Uh, Cradle Mountain, St. Clair. What if we go down here? Southwest Conservation Peak. Burns Island. State Forest. What about down here? Tasman National Park. And what about this? Uh, I, don't, I don't actually know. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's. So which one should we go with? Where, where should we go? Let's go Tasmania, sure. Let's say right down here at the one end. Actually, it's a big park, so let's go like, you know, somewhere like around, like right there. Okay, very cool. Let's make the guess, and the answer was, okay. A real throw-off, and also a real surprise. I'm guessing this is, this. Is, these are the Azores, which is uh, Portuguese. And interesting. I didn't know this looked like this. Honestly, I would not have thought that somewhere, that that would be the look of that that's really crazy well that last one threw me the hell off my god 15 points wow australia 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 and then boom threw me right off my god you are a master craftsman of tricky challenges uh because you know you you, you play you play the head games the games uh, where you make me think uh, we got a secret theme and then we don't you make me think we're never going to be in the same place twice and we are you make me uh, guess all over australia and yet we're only in one place Good ones. That is that is good. 19 for 19. Well, that was a lot. That was really far away. 15 points only. We need a grand total of 10,386. So first off, we weren't in Angola. We were in the beautiful town of Townsville, which in that picture, honestly, wasn't so beautiful. But that's fine. We were then in Uluru in Northern, Northern, Ter Northern Territory. Uh, there you go. Southern, Northern Territory, I guess. Uh, then we were in the Great Barrier Reef, just off Townsville. Then we were in Townsville yet again, but uh, this time actually on uh, Magnetic Island. You know, uh, don't keep some uh, metals in your pockets there. And then we were not in Tasmania, but in the Azores, which is just absolutely wild. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for this challenge. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one. Bye.